Hoplite by Magma Fortress. And in case you can't tell by the dimensions, we're playing another Android or another phone game. Although this one happens to be Android. But anyway, this is, hey guys, Game Hunter here, and we're playing another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. And uh, I guess we'll see what happens. It's mostly, you know, it's all mouse clickies with these and scrollies. So hopefully we can learn how to do this. You are a Greek Hoplite. You've been sent into the underworld on a perilous quest to recover the Fleece of Yendor. The Oracle has seen the Fleece at depth 16. Well, that's, that's very kind of you, Oracle. I'm glad you counted on the way through your crazy mystic visions. Tap a tile to move into or toward that tile. Tap your current tile to wait a turn. If no enemies are nearby, you will move to the tile instantly. You have two attack moves, stab and lunge. Both moves kill enemies instantly. Note that you cannot attack enemies by moving into them. I don't know why I'm saying all of this, but, you know, it's just... What else? I guess I could just kind of say, you know, it's... So we got the stab with... by move. Okay, so moving... It's basically bump move, except we have the whole interface of, you know, touch. So... Uh, do, do, do. So this counts as you lunge if you enter a tile and then the next tile in the same direction would be towards that dude. Three abilities, tap the hood to select that ability, then tap it to choose a target. This one's bash, does knock back. This one's leap. This one, oh, okay, that's cool. So leaping can act as a, as a farther away or attack. And you can throw your spear. I wonder if that means you have to pick it up when you're done. <laughs> uh, number of hearts, okay, right? Lose your, okay, energy, stab and lunge, so your normal bump moves do not require energy, and you get gained by moving into tiles with adjacent enemies. The more adjacent enemies, the more energy gained, goodness. But that's a lot more lethal, isn't it? Long press a tile and item to inspect it, and that was like a little eye, so I can do this. And there we go. A resident of the underworld. He will try to kill you. It is wielding a sword. It can attack adjacent tiles. Well, all right then. And then I just stab you to death, right? Is that what's going on? I mean, can you die? That's a great question. Can you even die? Am I, I really wasn't told whether or not I'm supposed to kill. Um... So, ow, and that's my lunge. So I guess you can kill, and I guess you always have to, I'd... I'm not really sure what was happening there, in fact. I must not have read my tutorial properly enough. So what do we got here? The altar of Ares, you may pray to ask for assistance. Makes your abilities more powerful or provides rejuvenation. All right, this is, this is pray. Uh, sweeping Bash also affects tiles. Wait, what's this cost? Oh, increased by 10. Wow, there's a lot of abilities here. Goodness. Um, when your lunge hits, the tile behind it will also take damage. That's cool. Um, affects tiles on either side, but its cost. Oh, but its cost is increased by 10. Gotcha. Gain an additional two energy whenever an enemy. That sounds good. Um, that sounds good. I, and then there's just restoration. So. Um, I think I'll go with Bloodlust. That sounds quite useful. Quite useful. Can I step on the blood? I guess not. Um, and you're a bomb thrower, right? A demon wielding a firebomb. It has a maximum range of four tiles. Uh, it can throw only throw a bomb every three turns. Wait, wait, how... What, what's the maximum range of throwing, though? Is it... Okay, it was that. Great. So let's just run away. Ho oh, ho. Look at me being all smart like. Ow! That's not a good. Well, okay, I can I can avoid it there. And then we go poof! And we go skaboof! And we run away more. So you always. I guess your attack always has to be kind of adjacent ish. Wow, I used a lot of energy there. Okay, well. The Altar of Apollo. Improves stats or provides regeneration. Okay, sure. Maximum and current health. Wow. Maximum and current energy. Four energy whenever an enemy moves into a tile adjacent to you. Huh. 
Well, that could be good. Um, hmm. Well, given the state I'm in, I don't need the health. I think energy. There we go. And we actually have to click on the title. Okay, Bomber Man. Bo oh, I thought I was that guy. Whoopsie doodles. Whoopsie doodles. And then I go like this, and then that's the lunge. Ow! Okay, so you always attack as a line of sight, spadeel. And I do this. Ow! Oh, I... Gosh, man, I was not looking at all of what I was supposed to be doing. So let's see if we can't... Okay, you can't hit me... Oh, I guess that always has to be as a lunge. And you'll hit me here? Let's just check that. Yeah, okay. And you'll hit me again like that. Okay. I just wanted to make sure... I just want to make sure I'm knowing how this game is even working. Um, and then we go poof. Okay. So if you're already adjacent and you adjacent again, that's when you get your attack. Okay. So that's how stab works. It's kind of like a whatever. I don't even. I don't even. What is this? So is these the same? These are the same. Hmm. I think I'll get greater throw this time around. I think that is what I'll get. So you know what? I'm just going to say right out, this is probably the best of the Android games I've seen so far. I've only seen three in total, but this one really seems to make use of just basic move, basic interfacing really awfully well and uh, just all that good stuff. Um, hmm. So yeah, if I throw it, I'm kind of stuck. Darn it. Oi. Um. Well, I kind of have to take the hit. Oh, I guess they can't hit when they're when you're adjacent like that. It's good to know. It's very good to know. Um. So yes, that is something I'm already learning about this game. Isn't that great? <laughs> um. But yeah, I mean, just the the turn basedness of it, and the fact that you don't have to be constantly like, for instance, in Skull Dorado, you had the case where you're constantly moving and you have to be constantly touching, and then there was alternate dimension roguelike, or whatever the exact name was, where you're always constantly moving and scrolling to make sure where you're going. But uh, in this game, you pretty much, you have a very limited area in the first place, and that's perhaps one of the best ways to even accomplish, or one of the best ways to accomplish that, that thing of doing stuff. So that's a stun, and then, oh, they split... Oh, they keep splitting. Do I hit more than one? No. Oi. Well, I can hit you again. Oh, darn it. And there was that. But you can't hit me from here for some reason. I don't really get that, but, I mean, it, it, it's like, it's okay, I guess, for me to handle myself in that manner. Or, um, wait. Okay, yeah, you still won't be able to hit me if I go there, yes. And then, yeah, you have to, you can't do anything squat diddly. And now we just kind of finish up. There we go. This is almost a, a kind of a game of chess where you have different pieces that do different things. Because it's very, it's very board gamey, I'll say that. Very board gamey indeed. So what do we got here? Another Aries. Um, oh, and it does even more. Deep Lunge. Deep Lunge could be quite useful. I haven't been using Bash at all. Oh, Restoration sounds quite good. Mm, I haven't been using my abilities, I'll say that. Let's get Greater Throw in there. Let's get the Greater Throws. And just keep running from you. Aw, oh, man. Um, hmm. And that puts me in just a number of positions, but nothing good. I'll say that. Nothing good can come of that. I don't really like that either. So we're going to go here. Oh, you get, you devil. Oh, wait, I can, right. But I do take the hit. I'll have to use restoration this time around. That's unfortunate. But I can do this. Poof. Oh, oh yeah, I don't have deep lunge. Crapsicles. And this is going to be like a pain in the butt to, to micromanage. But it looks like I did it. <laughs> It looks like I managed to do it just fine without any worries about anything whatsoever. That's unf Well, yeah, I could get the greater health, but I think I just need restoration. So there we go. 
I just need to... Ooh, we got a wizard. Well, it's a staff. Can only fire in the six directions. Maximum range of five. Hits a beam that hits all tiles in that range. It will avoid hitting other demons, but does not care about killing slimes. Cannot fire two turns in a row. I never really checked you, did I? Um, okay, minimum range two, max a range of five. Huh. Okay. And you didn't have a minimum range. Right. Right. So I kind of have to, like, kill you from afar. Uh, right now I'm in the way, so there's that. Uh, um, I can do this. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. How is about that merry man? And that's that's all adjacents. And I could jump, but that's no good really at the moment. So I'll just go back a step. Oh, like this. Right. Hum de dum drum. How am I going to accomplish what I want to accomplish? I guess he... Oh, great. Why didn't I even notice that? So you won't attack the other demon. But you can hit me from there. Who am I going to... Oh, I hope I attack the wizard. Okay, good. <laughs> so I did attack. And if I do this, I'll get a lunge. Correct. Okay, very nice. Very, very nice. And then we just do this. Yeah, I always forget about the lunge. I don't know why. I just do. It's just what I do and what I play and how I play it. But overall, this game is cool. And I'm not really playing as well as I probably should be. But, oh, oh, and I guess that just kind of skips, huh. Um, I don't really, I don't remember at all to use my abilities. I should probably just get health then, because I don't remember to use my abilities. <laughs> oh, well, you well. Um, hmm. This could be a bit of a trouble. If, maybe if I, if I get, if I specifically make it so that the bomb man kind of, yeah. I thought that might work out fairly okay. Um, ooh, that's a bit of an annoyance. Because he's just going to throw the bomb. I hope he doesn't throw it. Throw it somewhere silly. Oh, not that silly. <laughs> not that silly. Um, uh, and that's going to kill, and then he's just going to attack me. So what do I do exactly to get where I want to be about something or another? Maybe here? Uh, yeah, that'll work, actually, because I'll hit the warrior, and then I'll kill... Well, uh, I can't really kill you easy, can I? Um, blue, blue, blue. I mean, I could throw my spear there, but I'm kind of in a locked position with regards to doing anything good. Um, ha. Huh. Hardy har. I can lunge, but then I'll take a hit from the slime. Is that worth it? I could... Nice. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I won't. Okay, good. But he doesn't care about slimes. So, in other words, if I just sit... Oh, it goes through everything. Darn it. I gotta be smart. Ah, great. Oh, I gotta take a hit again, don't I? Somehow. Somewhere. Well, I gotta take the bomb hit. Yeah. Oh, and the... Okay, you're right. He won't attack through that. But he will keep... Okay, this is fine, kind of. Well, I hit the wizard. I mean, is it intelligent? No, wait, I can't hit the wizard. That's right. Why am I being a doo-doo face? That's the best of, of questions that one has to offer in this state of mind. Um, so, yes, at this point, I mean... Oh, Zeus! Kills, killing three enemies in a single turn will regenerate one health. Killed by bombs do not count. Surge of strength will not be available after accepting this gift. Um, and this restores energy to full. And then there's just plain old restoration. I have never killed three enemies in a single turn. I'm just going to have to restore. Huh? That's great. So let's see how far I can actually get. Let's. I guess we're getting we're getting to the point where if I die, I just die. So. Yes, indeed, horrific. Okay, well, that's just a perfect shot right there. And, oh, man, really? Why do they got to be so intelligent? There's one, two, three, four, five. But that would be where I'd go anyway. Okay. Again? Oh, wait. No, I can do this. Ha-ha! I have learned your secrets, Archer Man. And again, once once more and there. Four. 
you don't care about slimes, but you do care about fellow demons. So that's why we're doing it this style, this approach, this magnitude, this magnaforific. And yeah, just back. Oh, um, unfortunately, that can't be a back and forth. So I guess we'll just do a little bit more here and thither, hither and thither. And if I kill you, oh, great. Well, okay, sure, why not? We'll just, and yes, of course, just get yourself killed just like that. Man, I didn't get the Zeus ability, but the Zeus abilities look like they're great if you have the capacity to annihilate things with great ease. Um, hmm. Let me go Courage. If enemy, enemies often walk really close to me. So that's why I thought it was okay to do that. Bomberman is annoying. That's what I said, because it's right. Um, man, I, cause it's hard to tell where the Bomberman's going to throw his bombs. Ugh. Yeah, and then he'll shoot. Blast. That's exactly what happened, Blast. I do not have a good place to be, however, I can do this, so there we go. Um, we're good there, and we're good here. Yes, okay, good. Um, oh, you're, I'm in the line of sight there, so i got to go like this. The problem is, is, of course, whether or not I even have the ability to do what I need to do, and this works out perfectly, so there we go. Um, and we just keep going that ways and I just kind of try to get myself away from the line of attack good oh and there's the wizard I did not read that one correctly what is this guy again hold on uh, okay it cannot fire two turns in a row that's that's important um, it's nothing I can actually make use of at the moment but uh, this very instant I don't know why the wizard just gets up in my face. I guess they're a, they can. It kind of makes sense sort of deals, but... Hmm. If anything, I would take regeneration. But it almost seems like Surge of Strength is better, because then that gives you the ability to do more with it. Uh, it's hard to tell, of course. The Shield Bash could be good. I guess uh, the wizard could kill a bunch of slimes in one turn, and technically I guess that doesn't count as a as a loss because the bombs have the same I mean it says specifically no go with the bombs and we got two bombardiers this time around two bombardiers oh my goodness I guess we're gonna have to go no not that should probably use that one more often <laughs> wow um um the wizard will die and then I can kill the archer skaboof Kerplow. Oh, I killed both of them? I didn't know that. Huh. I thought... Okay. Well, once again, my uh, my inability to recognize how this game is played is screwing up basic calculations or something. Okay, so what do we get this time? Apollo. Oh, boy. Oh. Greater energy. I mean, greater energy can be useful, but if I'm using abilities constantly, then... Courage and such are far more useful. So, I mean, this game, you really do have to think about each move. It's, it's kind of similar to Chess Rogue in that you don't have a long game to play, you know, to dance around, but every single move you make has extraordinarily important consequences on, on the gameplay itself. So, uh, man, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Where would, oh, the bomb would probably go right here if I moved there. I guess I could just go here for the time being. And then, um, hmm, that would lunge, but it wouldn't really do anything good. So I could just take a step forward again and just, really, that's where you throw the bomb. Oh well. I'm doing relatively okay ish. Um,. And that would just stun right now. 
and I would be one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Kind of curious how this works, though. Oh, and it does a knock. Why do I not listen to myself when I'm doing anything? I mean, that's, that's like what you're supposed to do. Oh, okay. Well, this works. I still... And you're stunned, so I can just do this. Oh, I did kind of lock myself into taking damage here. I don't have to, but... Um, yeah. Well, I guess I'll just do a, a runsies. That uh, no, that doesn't keep me safe. That doesn't keep me safe in the slightest. Have it here. Oh my goodness! That is the worst place I could have gone, apparently. <laughs> apparently the literal worst place. Well, I guess I'll just take the one hit. As is destined by my destiny. And then we kill, and oh my goodness, again with the bombs. I am dead. I am so very dead. Unless I can, well, even if I bash a bomb. I did not play that well at all. Dead. That was a tough position, but I could have gotten out of it. I certainly could have. Oh well, this is a nice game, and if you can afford to... Unfortunately, the limitations of the game require you not only to have some kind of Android, but also that you use Google Play. It works perfectly fine with the blue stacks, given the fact that you have... or assuming you have a Google account. Uh, other than that, for an actual Android phone user, maybe it's not a big deal. Everybody has Google Play, right? Yeah, I'm sure that's the case. Anyway, uh, this has been Game Hunter playing Hoplite, and I would say, yeah, it's it's a this is a nice Android game. It really is. Um, the other two seem like they could use better polish. This game already feels like it has the appropriate amount of polish to just say, go ahead and play it, it's enjoyable, etc. Anyway, um, yes, join me next time when we take a look at another game from the 7 Day Roguelike Challenge of 2013. Until then, keep playing those roguelikes, guys, and take care.